Okay, if you waited until 3 in the morning to find out what the updates were about, I want you to comment down below if your reaction was similar to this one. What the f- What's up guys, my name is Susu from Head to Head Battles and in today's episode, we're going to talk about all the major issues with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels and kind of tell Konami the ways to fix them, alright guys? So, if you guys like content like this, make sure to subscribe, like and comment, hit that notification bell to join the squad and comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything that I say in this video, alright? So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so one of the biggest issues with this game is that once you finish solo mode, you built all the decks that you want to play and you finally hit that all the ever elusive platinum one there's literally nothing else that you can do except spend more money on more decks and then try to win with those decks right because if you look on the screen the only thing that you can really do is have a win streak at your current rank which again it's not anything insane right because You've literally beat the game. If you've beaten the game on the first day, that in like in the first 24 hours that the game has come out, let me know in the comment section down below because, I mean, even as a streamer, like I try to rank up as slowly as possible. Um, but even then, like I got here like oh so quickly. I feel like if you are from the TCG, right? And you've been playing the TCG version of this game for a long time. You're up against people who are from Duel Links and maybe returning players or even brand new players so as a tcg player or like in a as a seasoned ocg player getting to plat one is pretty freaking easy all you need to do is have a ladder system when you get to plat one right like who is the best plat one player is it me it's probably me i mean who else could it possibly be and on top of that they should give like the top 100 plat one players free gems when they log in every single day i mean if you took all this time to grind the game out spend money get these decks why not give something in return you know like if you can i don't know how many plat one players there are in the game currently as it stands um because i don't think they like have that type of metric built into the game but in the top 100 if there are 4 million downloads giving the top 100 plat one players free gems for being plat one shouldn't hurt konami too much anyways and on top of that if you integrate this you know stay in the top 100 then you have to make it that you know you have to play at least one game a day to keep your rank or you suffer from like rank degradation right so let's move on to the second problem the second problem that i think konami should fix and it's a pretty simple one is that when you play in rank duels please start our chaining with on and not auto I don't know how many times where I wanted to do something on my opponent's turn when they're going first in the standby phase, but because it's set to auto, it just straight up goes to their main phase. And if you don't know, in main phase, your you know turn player has player priority, so they always get the first action. Now, you know, trying to quickly turn it to on when the game first starts, you know, sometimes your reflexes or your hand-eye coordination really isn't all there, and you could be missing effects that you could be winning games with the easiest fix is put it in the beginning menu right before you go into ranked let us be able to go into the menu click a button so that when we start ranked it starts on the on chain and not the auto chain i think this is a really easy fix and you know maybe if you like this video and share this video someone at konami will see it and do us all a favor another update that they should definitely roll in is the fact that the game is designed for you to spend your money i mean obviously right but now the biggest problem is this okay you have let's say you're a free-to-play player and you've done everything and you have no more access to you know you to break down to craft because you can't open packs right here is a really simple fix allow us to turn our n craft into r's our r craft into sr's and our sr craft into ur's at a 10 to 1 ratio i think a 10 to 1 ratio is really, really fair because even if you do go to open packs, every time you open a pack of all normals, you don't feel bad because you can at least break those down or rather kind of merge them into a single R, uh, you are or a single R craft point, right? So let's say you have 100 N points and then we should have the option to turn that into 10 R points and then, you know, so on and so forth. That way, you know, you keep the players from not hating you and when they do buy packs because now there's more incentive to buy packs it allows us to craft our 
craft points into higher craft points so that we can play the game a little bit better, right? I mean, if you hit plat one and you want to try all over again, like, you know, kind of throw every single game, go back all the way to bronze and try with a new deck, it costs money. It's going to end up costing you money because when you first start the game and you play with all the free gems, it allows you to build probably one full deck with a decent amount of staples, but not every deck uses the same exact staple and every other deck you're playing, you know, a lot of different extra deck cards. And a lot of the time, even if your whole main deck is like SRs and Rs and Ns, your extra deck is all you are most of the time. So I think the best way to implement it is to allow us to craft our craft points into higher craft points. Okay, another really big problem that they definitely should fix is the fact that you cannot test unless you're affecting your rank, right? Like there's no casual testing portion of the game where you can kind of go in build a deck play test hands etc etc right and how do you how do you fix this there's actually a really simple way to fix this and just let us have a testing portion of the game where we can kind of put all the cards into the deck and play test hands right like even if we can't play with those cards with other people allowing us to have these you know have the entire card pool to draw test hands to play test hands it will definitely keep us spending money because if we do like the deck we're going to invest in the deck i'm making konami money by fixing problems bro like i'm the greatest innovator on the planet and if we take this approach you don't have to test with the fear of you know demoting or affecting your rank too much because as it, as it stands right now the whole rank system is it's pretty jank right like it's actually ridiculously simple you know you rank up if you win and you demote if you lose and if you chain your wins enough you can jump from gold to platinum you know and there's really no diversity in the ranks itself and even like i said you know the first biggest issue uh, you know with the fact that there's no end game um this will definitely help players spend more money after they hit after they've hit plat right because if they're able to test these decks without spending the money and they really do like the deck, then they're going to want to play that deck against real players, aka I need to buy more packs to build these decks to dismantle cards to make cards, right? I mean, it's really simple if you think about it. The last and final thing that I want to talk about, okay, is the fact that there's no emoji speak. Now, I think Konami did a really good job with not letting there be, you know, like chat in the rank duels simply because <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh players are like the edgiest people I know. Like the screen and keyboard are like the shield and bigger shield. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean, if you've ever been on Dueling Book or YGO Omega or any platform where they allow all talk, bro, these players say some of the wildest things. And I completely understand that. But the Pokemon TCG did it really, really good. They have something called Emoji Speak where you can kind of talking emojis right like smiley face or like a heart is breaking or whatever whatever it may be i think if i think if uh master duels implemented emoji speak you know it could definitely help it be more personable albeit you know you're not really talking but you can definitely like if your opponent makes a really good play you can definitely give a thumbs up you know and if you really want to remove the dislike button you too i'm talking to you i um, mean you you can do so right i mean you, you definitely want to keep the game more casual than competitive because because ca casuals spend more money but at the same time you want us to be able to kind of communicate like hey good play hey good job hey dope deck dope tech or whatever it may be you know if you want to encourage your opponent we should be allowed to do so right but big kudos to konami for understanding how edgy Yu-Gi-Oh players are and not giving us all chat seriously give yourself a pat on the back okay i got one more thing all right when konami gives us a six hour maintenance period okay no matter for what update it will be because they literally didn't update jack shite give us some gems man we waited six hours you can't give us 500 gems 1000 gems like hey i'm sorry you waited six hours to play our game i'm sorry here are some free gems i mean come on it, that's like not a lot to ask for all right guys that's it for today's video and if you made it till the end please subscribe like and comment hit that notification bell to join the squad and comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything that i've said also if you guys want some more specific uh master duels content let me know in the comment section down below as well because i know i actually love these like sit down videos where i can kind of like just be a floating head 
Cause uh, you know, it's, it's easy to edit. You know what I'm saying? But all right, guys, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I love you. This is Susu from Headtime Battles. Signing out. What's, What's up, up, guys? If you haven't subscribed, make sure to click that button right there in the middle. Also, if you haven't watched that video that YouTube is recommending you, it's probably crazy. All right, go watch it. This is Susu from Headtime Battles. Signing out.